or whatever, and they're just kind of arguing and going back and forth. They're together, they're not together, whatever happened, and then they get back together after five years, and then everyone's like, hey, did you hear? Isn't that wonderful news? Isn't it? They're back together. And I said, am I the only one who didn't fall down a flight of stairs and lost my long-term memory? <laughs> These people are out of their minds. But you know what? I was wrong because love found a way. It really did. And you know, I got to I got to meet all their family and get everything about that. But I mean, there was one sticking point. I was a groomsman, and who thought it was hot yesterday? Really hot. And then there was smoke coming down from the mountains. Yeah. So you're breathing this crap, and you're really hot. Well, it sounded like perfect weather for a three-piece suit, wouldn't it? No. Totally. Yes, Kate. No, it wasn't. Uh, I managed to. Uh, get the rental back, and it was 212 bucks for a tux rental. You know that? Do you know that? 1212 bucks. That's a road trip for me. You know? And so, you know what I did? I did what any reasonable person would do. I would sleep in that thing. I lived in that thing for two days. I looked great. And the thing is, is that when I gave it back, I put it in, like, the body bag for a tuxedo. And uh, by the time they opened it, they probably all just went... <gasps> It smells like Don Draper's dick. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a long time. So, uh, no, but, uh, you know, you get to see family, and then you think about your own family, you know? I'm Tom Higgins, so, of course, I have really Irish grandparents. My mother, my grandmother, and my grandfather, who passed away a little while ago. God bless his soul. He, my grandmother, she's interesting, because she's the one who taught us about sex. You know, and she taught, oh, all right, all right, okay. Anyway, uh, she went to my cousin, she was 13, and she asked, Grammy, what do boys want? <laughs> Grammy's like, they just want to stick it in you. <laughs> Sex ed under the Higgins household, I love it. Uh, I was at Starbucks today, I was, after returning the suit, I got a free Starbucks. Boo, oh, I'm sorry. It was free. It was free. Okay. Right. And I have one of those friends that are super popular. Really popular. And it drives me up the wall because I just don't have that charisma in real life. And he's just like, he's that Ferris Bueller who's high-fiving everybody he walks into. You know, there's, there's a parade right after. He doesn't even drive a car and he knows more people than me. It's ridiculous. And the thing is, is, like, he's talking with everybody. He never even, like, went into this place, and he's talking with people. And he gets free drinks as well. And there's me, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You're that, I mean, he makes any situation a third wheel, even if it's just the two of you. I'm just on the store shelves, just looking at things. Yeah, yeah, is he still doing it? Yeah, he's still doing it. Yeah. I wonder what this is. This is interesting, but I'm going to keep staring at it. <laughs> Uh, gosh. Well, you know, I'm thinking about family, so I'm thinking about the holidays. And then I think about the songs, you know, because it's like in October, and then the Christmas songs come on, and then you hear those songs. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you listen to those songs a little bit too much, and you start to listen for their lyrics, like, Baby, It's Cold Outside. Anybody know that one? Yes. I've got to go away, but baby, it's cold outside. That is the first song of date rape I've ever heard in my life. Okay? She's like, I gotta go. Oh, baby, have a drink. <laughs> my mom's gonna worry about me. Don't worry about her. And then around the Christmas time, I get those family newsletters. You know what I mean? Like the, uh, they're like the full printout photo paper. And uh, it's got them all in matching sweaters. And then it's like, Jimmy went to Harvard, and Jenny went to, uh, you know, Yale. And what are you doing with your life? And I'm like, what am I going to say? Oh, I hung out on the beach. <laughs> Whatever, there's no photos, because I don't want photos of those moments. But, you know, I, re I realized that that's what the social networking thing is. It's Facebook. It's like every time you're putting out either for attention or fulfillment of some need, and it's like, well, here's my Christmas list, and I'm just going to do it daily. That's why I was so resistant to Facebook to get on it, but, you know, somebody put it on it for me. And I appreciate it. I have a confession for you guys. I hate kids. Oh. Yeah, this guy. Okay, okay, I don't hate all kids. I hate most kids. 
And the thing is, there's, there's only several reasons for that. Like, I was at McDonald's. Are you going to boo me? <laughs> I was at McDonald's, and uh, there's these two nine-year-olds, and they're at the, the fountain. And uh, they're arguing to each other. Uh, what's the best way to take the paper off the straw? Then, no, it's this way. You take it in the part, and it's that way. And then the other one's like, no. He does the douche thing, and he's like, you rip off one part, and you blow it at something. <laughs> and I'm walking in. I just want to get a cap and a straw so I can leave. And I walk up. I'm like, hey, guys, you know what the best way to do it is? And I have one drink, and I just grab the straw and hit it on a counter. So it shoots through the paper. That's what I do. Yeah. Am I right? Right? Yeah. And then so just with one hand, you can put the straw in. Yeah. And I told them that. And they both looked at me, and then they looked at each other, and then one of them was like, awkward. <laughs> I have never been that mad since 9-11, okay? It was so bad. I felt so dirty for some reason. I just wanted to strangle these two. I was like, hey, man, I was born in the 80s. Back up. <laughs> I was only three months in the 80s. So <laughs> Keep going, jeez. You're right. Uh, the nice lady at the gate complimented me last week. And she said I had really nice eyes. And I'm not making fun of her. It's just this thing that I'm not really good with compliments. Anybody in here? It's like that. Oh, you guys love compliments. The thing is, is like I have this mind in the back. It says, what do they want? <laughs> it's like the born identity every day. And the thing is, it was for this wedding, I lost some weight, I got a haircut I actually paid for, and everyone's noticing me now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, one other thing I want to say is, since I'm an 80s child, uh, I grew up in the age of cordless phones. I had a rotary in my room. You know, the tsh, 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 tsh. And uh, the thing is, is like, I remember a time where your conversation had to be heard by everybody in the living room. You know what I mean? But now that we all have cell phones, we do all these things, and I'm guilty of it. I'll just be like, yeah, politics today, things like that. Things you would never do in front of somebody, and you're doing it. Yeah. No. Where are you? What? Yeah, turn off speaker, and then you flash it. <laughs> anyway. Because you know, you guilty. You guilty, you right? You're like, oh, see, cover the mic. Okay, we're safe. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that frustrate me in this world, really. It's, uh, you know, it's those uh, AM conservative talk show hosts. You know, they're like, oh, man. They, they think of anything about Obama, you know what I mean? Anything. And, the, I mean, they find anything to nitpick. Like, Obama uses the triple roll, double stuffed, quilted northern, which is far too expensive. Right? This is a crime against America. I'm like, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know why? Because Obama uses the Constitution anyway. Ah. I didn't see that. Anyway, you guys have been awesome. I love the vibes. I'll see you later.